Hi, I'm Darren Jew, and welcome to the third annual Underwater Tour Awards. This year incorporating both the Guru Awards and the Take 3 Photo Contest. These awards are evolving every year and in 2022 we're excited to be eco-partnering with Take 3 for the Sea. This partnership sees entries not only increase awareness of our precious oceans, but also contribute much needed funds directly to ocean advocacy programs. So let's get started with announcing the winners of the Take 3 photo contest, which has been introduced as a way of harnessing the power of photography to help promote the Take 3 for the Sea story. Hello everyone, I'm on your beautiful Yumina Beach today. Um, Yumina Beach is on Dark Indum Country and we're setting up for the Take 3 Ocean Swim that we're doing at Yumina Beach. It's my great pleasure to thank you all for your amazing entries for our Take 3 contest. Um, we've got some amazing photos from you all and they really told the story of what Take 3 is doing. So thank you all and uh, congratulations to all the winners. Open to anyone who snaps pictures on any device, the contest embraces the Take 3 for the Sea message, promoting real actions that are helping improve the health of the oceans. Our winners have been chosen by the Take 3 for the Sea team, and they'll be sharing in a $2,500 prize pool, kindly supplied by some of Take 3's generous corporate supporters. Okay, our first runner-up is Jean-Louis Lebreu, and our first winner is Emma Turner. Our second runner-up is Kathy Finch, and our second winner is Jules Casey. A massive thank you to everyone who took part in the contest and congratulations to the winners. Now, on to the Guru Awards, our flagship competition celebrating the very best of ocean and freshwater photography. With the help of the judging panel and the Underwater Tour Awards team, we have six categories, some special prizes and the Guru Grand Prize to announce. So let's get started. First up, we have one of the world's leading surf photographers and Take 3 ambassador, Russell Ord, to announce the Topside Scene category. Finalists in this category were Anthony Brown, Cameron McFarlane, Jürgen Rasmussen, Pam Osborne, and Reed Plummer. Topside scenes are images taken above the surface, in the ocean, or in a freshwater environment. There were some incredible entries, but there can only be one winner. And I'm proud to announce the winner of the topside scene is Anthony Brown from Australia for his image of a humpback whale slapping the surface. The image was incredibly raw and powerful, yet very, very, very beautiful. One of those images, as a photographer myself, I wish I had in my own portfolio. Beautiful image, Anthony. So once again, congratulations to Anthony Brown from Australia for his winning image. Well done, champion. Thanks to Lady Musgrave Experience, as winner of the Topside Scenes category, Anthony will be overnighting at Lady Musgrave HQ, right on the Great Barrier Reef. Whether snorkeling straight off the platform or exploring the outer reef, Anthony's sure to return with enough fabulous photographs to fill a Memento Pro photo book. Friend of the underwater tour, seahorse expert, marine biologist, photographer, and head of our ethical review team, Dr. Richard Smith will announce this year's underwater characters winners. From the finalists, Nicholas Remy, Josh Blank, Jake Wilton, Gabrielle Guzman, and Dave Levasseur.
Apologies, I'm a little dishevelled. I'm just in Bali Airport about to fly to Kupang, so hopefully there'll be no announcements on the Tanoi. But I wanted to announce the winner of the Underwater Characters category, um, which is Jake Wilton from Western Australia. Uh, he had an incredible shot of a giant petrol um, that had come and visited the reefs of the Tanoi. It was really a beautiful shot and uh, really something to be proud of, so such an incredible encounter. So, huge congratulations to him, and look forward to seeing future work. Thanks to our good friends at Willindia Resort, Jake will be welcome to a favoured destination of many of the world's greatest underwater photographers, Kimbi Bay in Papua New Guinea, a biodiversity hotspot, home to great pelagics and over half the world's species of coral. Now on to the underwater black and white category. And to bring us the winners, we have Guru Awards team member and photographer, Mr. Greg Crow. This year's finalists are Ellen Koilatz, Gabriel Guzman, Karen Ho, Katie Kluett, and Pavlos Evangelidis. Hello from the Gold Coast. The underwater black and white category requires that the images must be taken underwater and only be tones of grey, no colour. As always, this category is filled with interesting and intriguing images. Thank you to all those who entered this category. This is one of my favourite categories. I love all the shapes and the textures. Taking the colour out of the image puts all the emphasis on the composition and form. This is very true with this year's winning image. We are proud to announce the 2022 Underwater Black and White Category Award winner is Pavlos Evangelidis from Benin in West Africa. Pavlos's winning image is Gorgonian coral, whose fan pattern is silhouetted strikingly against the background. I love how you can see all the detail in the fan. It's like a mini maze that takes you on a continuous journey. What a great image. Congratulations, Pavlos. Since 1969, Mike Ball dive expeditions have been leading the way in the Australian dive industry. As black and white winner, Pavlos will board Spoil Sport, Australia's most awarded liverboard, for an exciting expedition to the best dive sites of the Northern Great Barrier Reef and the spectacular Coral Sea. Last year's Guru Grand Prize winner was Amanda Blanksby, and as well as helping judge this year's awards, Amanda's here to announce the winner of the Aquatic Abstracts category from the following group of finalists. Walter Dreschler, Wade Hughes, Karen Ho, Derek Furman, and Richard Condliffe. Greetings from Australia. I'm going to announce the winner of the Aquatic Abstracts category. The aim of this category is to find an image that does not necessarily represent reality, but seeks to evoke an emotional response using shapes, colours and textures. And the winning image certainly fits this brief. I'm happy to announce that the winner is Wade Hughes, who's also from Australia. When you first look at this image, you will see a rainbow of colours ranging from reds, oranges and yellows through to aquas and blues. And it's only when you look a little bit deeper do you realise that actually it's the surface of a sponge and the aquas are tiny blue acidians. Well done to the other finalists in this category and congratulations to Wade on being the winner. Action-filled days on the Great Barrier Reef await Aquatic Abstracts winner Wade Hughes, thanks to Lady Elliot Island Eco Resort. Renowned for an abundance of encounters with an amazing diversity of marine life, Lady Elliot is known as the home of the manta ray.
Underwater photography specialist Brett Loebwin is here to announce the winner of the Underwater Scenes category. The 2022 finalists are Wayne Osborne, Talia Grace, Helen Wall, Gabrielle Guzman and Cameron McFarlane. Brett Lobwain here, I'm one of the judges of the Underwater Tour Awards. I have the pleasure to be announcing the winner of the Underwater Scenes category. A category where we're looking for an image to really showcase the beauty of our oceans across the globe. And we saw that across all the finalists. We saw some fantastic set of images from polar regions through to the tropics, temperate and everything else in between. So congratulations to all the finalists, but there can only be one winner this year, that is Ken. Farlan, Cameron McFarlane from Wollongong, New South Wales in Australia. And an image that he's taken over in the Solomon Islands on a coral reef uh, that has a beautiful set of, uh, or school of, of antheids sitting just above that coral. An exceptionally difficult photo to capture with these fish as they're highly skittish. If anyone else tried to photograph these beautiful antheids on display, you realize they're normally going in under the coral reef system. So it would have taken Cam a lot of patience there to be able to pull this shot off. So well done Cam, again well done to all the finalists and I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone produces next year for the Underwater Tour Awards. As a guest of nature, Cameron is off to discover the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef at world famous Heron Island. Boasting over 20 easily accessible dive sites, Heron Island offers a unique opportunity to witness the magic of the world's largest coral reef. Reportage is a factual journalistic presentation of threats, activism and actions relating to the underwater environment. The finalists are Jody Frediani, Jon Rasmussen and Sam Glenn Smith. To announce the winner of the reportage category, we have a fine musician, a talented underwater photographer who fans of the underwater tour will know very well. Mr. William Tan. Under the reportage category, the winner is Jon Rasmussen with his image of a female paper nautilus spinning onto a piece of plastic. Interestingly, this individual has yet to complete his shell development. We are happy to see that the membrane of this individual still covering its shell, a sheer sign showing that the animal wasn't disturbed during time of filming. Congratulations, Yon. Thanks to our friends at QYC, Jürgen has an exciting new tool to help him document and report on the underwater world, the Firefish V6 underwater robot. Whether it's scouting undived sites or exploring undivable locations, the V6 revolutionizes underwater exploration. The People's Choice popular vote is the public's chance to have their say, voting for their favourite photographs from this year's shortlisted entries. And vote the public did with thousands of likes and loves being attached to images across all categories. We have Underwater Tour co-founder Juliette Myers to announce the winners. A very warm welcome from a freezing UK. I'm very pleased to be able to announce the runner-up and the winner for the People's Choice Award for the Underwater Tour Awards 2022. And out of 129 incredible shortlisted images, I'm pleased to advise the runner-up is Mel Wu with her lovely, lovely image of a baby green turtle hatchling just taking its first few strokes underwater off Lady Musgrave Island. Beautifully emotive image, vibrancy is gorgeous, colours are gorgeous, clarity is lovely. Well done, Mel. And I'm also really pleased to announce the winner is Anthony Brown with his powerful image of a humpback whale's tail just about to hit the water after a, a, another whale has breached right before that. So congratulations, Anthony. It really is a super powerful image and very well done.
Thanks, Juliet, and congratulations to both Mel and to Anthony. As runner-up, Mel wins a prize pack from Memento Pro, Living Image Print, and Underwater Australia. As People's Choice winner, Anthony receives a Sport Diver Pro smartphone housing and Sea Dragon video light from Sea Life. Now, taking a lead from the Archibald Prize, this year we've introduced a special prize chosen by the wise minds of the Underwater Tour team management. To give us their opinion and to award the inaugural Guru Packers Prize is Underwater Tour co-founder, Tim Hodgegrieve. We're absolutely stoked with the quality of submissions this year and the amazing talent that we can showcase with the Underwater Tour Awards in 2022. Uh, one particular photo really amazed the Underwater Tour Awards team. And so our inaugural Packers Prize goes to Helen Walney. Her atmospheric image of coralline encrusted boulders amongst a kelp grove in South Africa really takes us on her underwater journey. Congratulations, Helen. Thanks to Underwater Australia, Helen will receive a prize pack including a full set of Underwater X stainless steel water bottles from Elk Drawers, plus a set of fine art prints of her entries from Living Image. To the Take Three Guru Awards for their incredible images. They were really stunning. They told amazing stories. Thank you also to everyone who donated money in addition to your entry fees, which will put to amazing use for all our programs and activities, saving our oceans from plastic. Okay, now it's on to the big one, the Guru Grand Prize. Our major award celebrates a great photographer, not just one great photograph. The ultimate prize is awarded to a photographer chosen by the judges from a pool of high scoring entrants, all of whom entered six entries across three or more categories. Our 2022 finalists are Jürgen Rasmussen, Jake Wilton, and Gabriel Guzman. Making the announcement of this year's guru is Camera Pro Channel Manager, Phil Joshua. Hello from Camera Pro. We're grateful to partner with the Underwater Tour Awards again, and it has been great to see another successful competition. For the Grand Guru Prize, we were able to support with a brilliant kit from Sony, including the A7 IV and the 24-70 GM f2.8 lens. To win this ultimate prize, the Grand Guru had to receive the highest results from six entries in the competition. This year, the judges felt the most deserving portfolio of images came from Jake Wilton in Australia. Jake's images show the true beauty of animals living underwater. They portray an excellent understanding of light and patience. The considered composition and tone further demonstrate why these six images have been so successful. Congratulations to Jake for taking out this Grand Guru Award. We hope you enjoy your new Sony gear and congratulations to everyone else who entered, helping make the competition so successful again. The competition was tough and there were some fantastic entrants across the board. Thank you from Camera Pro. Along with his great new kit of Sony gear from Camera Pro, Jake takes home the innovative Z330 underwater strobe from Inon, a Henderson Green Green eco-friendly wetsuit, and of course a voucher from our great friends at Memento Pro, Australia's leading photo book publisher. Well, that's it for this year's Underwater Tour Awards. Congratulations to this year's guru, Jake Wilton, and all our other winners. Have a great festive season, and we'll look forward to bringing you the Underwater Tour Awards again in 2023.